all right go to file document properties and I want to change the width and height of the background to pixel make it okay on this and close next I want to create a background with rectangle tool so click this rectangle tool and make sure you turn on this snapping so when you create some shape it will make auto snap from this top left corner to the bottom right corner so just drag it now let's give some radial gradient while object in selected you can click this gradient tool press G All right, and you can drag it okay this is the linear type you can change it to this radial in fill and stroke tab to choose the radial gradient okay you can adjust the width so I want to set the outer this so just double click to this blue and on the middle so just double click more lighter color okay to step from this color alright next create a text press T or you can click this icon and type you can select all by pressing ctrl A and let's increase the size to the maximum you see some little this white stroke it because of this the stroke is apply with white color so just remove it right click just remove stroke press T again edit mode for the text so and select all and I want to change the font to okay you can download the font on the link in the description so with selector tool again I want to increase it more so you can click it with selector tool and press ctrl shift to scale it proportionally now convert text to path so you can click the text and go to path object path you see the text is already in path if you press T no highlight for edit text so it's not editable anymore for text now it's a throttle again what we're going to do is create some interpolation press ctrl D to duplicate you see when you move it's lock because the snapping so let's turn it off for now place it on here so 45 degree and let's change to any color and don't forget to send it to the back now let's do some interpolation select the front text click and hold shift then click the back text and go to extension generate from path just the interpolate between path okay now you see make the exponent to 1 and I remove this so just remove the checkbox don't forget to check the live preview to see what happened interpolation step in one so let's try 10 so it like more 3d or more extrude I prefer to increase it to 100 but the impact of doing this it's make the application little slower so supply then close okay next you can send it to the lower bottom just delete the alt text this blue color and I want to change this 3D text to some this white color but where that interpolation you can go to layers go to here just layer and objects this G that's been group this object I want to send it to the front but it's overlap the our text it should place inside the text for but below it so you can drag it okay now this is the right position and for that group I want to change it to this 40% gray 
right now let's modify this white color I want to make it gradient with white and gray so click this gradient tool select the fill and stroke tab okay while in selection so you can drag it let's change the color top color by double click to white color the bottom so just double click and so 60% gray oh, that's too much 20% gray and you can adjust and also that you know you can give the stroke with gradient so let's try it while the front text is selected and stroke pane you can choose this linear gradient now you see that the stroke color okay you can drag it and change I want to change the stroke color to white just double click and click the white color default to make it transparent okay now you can add a drop shadow so just click this and back into the layers and objects you see in this group find the path the highest number that mean that is the latest and press ctrl D to duplicate I want to change the black color let's move this path outside this group and it's below the group fill and stroke you can increase the blur so just drag it and you can change the opacity if you want the last thing I want to create a stroke for this text so it is a method to find the latest path from this interpolation or from this group so you can go to here click the layer and objects in this group you can rename it if you want but I just leave it in this path so this is the highest number that means it's the latest so press ctrl D to duplicate and move it outside the group minimize it and move it below the 116 while the path in selection we can go to path and choose outset or the shortcut is control with close parenthesis I will press this shortcut for a few times so click it okay and click it more control with close parenthesis about 10 times or more it's okay about 15 times I press it and you still can move it to find a nice position and I want to change this stroke color in fill and stroke and in fill I want to change to some orange color and you can do the same so interpolation but for the stroke so press ctrl D again to duplicate move about 45 degree on bottom left and send it to the lower again or again or you can change to any color to see where the position now okay so it's right below this front stroke and you can create some interpolation again so click the front stroke first hold shift then click the back stroke you can go to extension generate from path choose the interpolate between path make sure to active this live preview to see what happened All right apply then close Okay, send it to the lower again again and again this is the old path this red color just delete it you can change to any color I want to make some darker color 
I think this one let's see the layers or you can click this icon layer and objects this new group and select the highest number that mean latest path and press ctrl D to duplicate it's path 216 move it outside the group and move it to the lower okay and change the color to the black and fill and stroke you can increase the blur also the opacity also you can give the gradient to this okay I think this is too much for this front text you can go to layer and objects this path this is the interpolation and I want to delete from the beginning number maybe half of it 70 path right click choose delete and you can feel free to move these things front text okay this is more realistic and I want to adjust the gradient press F2 or you can click this not tool shortcut is N and make it a little darker it's about 40% gray so that's how you can create a 3d text effect on Inkscape Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.